Don S. Hester, Public Service Award. First, I want to thank you for being here, and I want to thank everybody who is watching, because we want you to become engaged in this process as well. And so it's about looking at where we are today, visioning what we want to see for tomorrow, and then creating a plan for how we get there. And it's all led by the people who live in the community. You must be talking about the Honorable Don Hester, absolutely. She has been a powerful force and a sense of encouragement from the beginning. And I just want to offer just one, a couple words of advice, especially to our young people. Um, love yourselves, and that way it'll be easier for you to do all the things that you want to do. Dream big. I never dreamed that I would be an elected official at the state level, but it's here. But it's here because I was prepared, and prepared enough for public schools and through college and just life. So it's always good to be nice to everybody that you meet along the way because you never know when you'll circle around and meet them again. And they can be helpful to you and you can be helpful to them. Thank you. Becoming prepared to do anything um, has a lot to do with one, how you feel about yourself. So understanding your strengths and your weaknesses as you grow and learning them um, and really what you're passionate about, I think is what we all should have the opportunity to do in our life at some point. Because then it gives you the joy and wanting to do it and it doesn't seem like work. Been knowing Don for, for a very long time, uh, a few decades. Really welcome the opportunity to talk about my friend Don Hester, the Honorable Don S. Hester, Don Sessoms Hester, a person who I've known uh, literally as long as I can remember. We grew up together in this city. Our families were friends. Actually, uh, Don was an educator uh, at Lake Taylor uh, when I was a student, and uh, she was probably freshly out of college. Uh, Don is probably a few years older than I, but she started in public education. I have brothers who correspond to the ages of her sibling siblings and things like that and I have very fond memories of her father from when I was just a young boy and he was teaching me so many things on how to bowl at the community bowling league and things like that so I can't remember a time when I haven't known Don. And Don has, was very instrumental in uh, me uh, serving on uh, the Planning Commission, uh, the Economic Development Authority. Uh, as you look at the neighborhoods that we live in and our community, uh, we worked uh, on some of the, the major projects, the revitalization of downtown, uh, some of uh, the new schools that have been built in our communities. Uh, she was uh, very active as vice mayor and as uh, the Super Ward representative, representing Super Ward 7, which encompassed, of course, Berkeley and Campostella and most of the South Side. Uh, I was president of the Civic League, and Don was uh, very instrumental in the revitalization of our Berkeley community as well as other communities in the city. So we, we've worked together very closely over the years. I actually worked with Dawn when I was on the school board and my first day with Dawn was working with her as when she was vice mayor and we would meet uh, with the school board and it was always first for the kids. First to make sure that our kids got the education they needed 
and that education would then grow our city. So I, I, my first impression with Dawn would always be she cared about the kids. I've learned from her in even developing this conference. I believe teamwork makes the dream work. As you can see that we have a, a culmination of different organizations that come together to benefit the community, particularly when it, when it helps our teenagers and our, and our youth. One of the programs that's very vivid in my mind is the one that she worked with the youth on a cleanup campaign. It lasted maybe for about four to six weeks. Um, part of the things that she worked with them on and uh, what she really focused on was community pride. Uh, so I remember seeing them running around the neighborhood with their yellow t-shirts on, cleaning up vacant lots. Uh, I remember seeing them uh, planting flowers, especially in some of our uh, senior citizens' front yards. And one uh, particular project that uh, they took on was actually taking and recycling these huge oil drums, painting them, and positioning them on various corners here in the neighborhood. I thought it was fitting for us to uh, do this interview in front of the Y on Granby. This is one of the last project that Dawn worked on as a member of City Council. And I think this project represents her in a lot of ways. First of all, with the YMCA, you know it has a basis on faith, and Dawn is a strong woman of faith. Dawn is, is always has been, and will, in my view, always will continue to demand that all communities have the best. And so this YMCA project is something that she helped us to move forward uh, as a member of City Council, trying to make sure that children in all neighborhoods in Norfolk would have access to the best. Park Place community. She and I started on this probably six, seven years ago. Uh, both of us, I think, were genuinely excited about this project, a different way to revitalize the community and uh, working from the neighborhood up. And, and that probably was my most memorable uh, work with Dawn. Relationships for Dawn were the key to her success when working with the school system and working at the city level, and I think it'll continue with her at the state level. Uh, Dawn's first session, which was this session, um, we, we asked Dawn not to put in any legislation. And she said, well, I'm a, you know, I'm a delegate. I'm supposed to put in bills. I'm supposed to you know, put in budget amendments. <laughs> we said, Dawn, your first session, you just sit, you just listen, and you just take good notes and learn the process. And it was probably very difficult for a person who, who's had as many years as she has had in uh, public life and, and on the city council uh, to come to Richmond and to, to be a student. Uh, but she did. I was not planning to be a state elected official, um, but the opportunity presented itself. And, um, God blessed me to be able to be elected and the people supported that. So I was really thankful for that, that you know, they still liked having me around and wanted me to come back and, and continue to serve. And so in this opportunity, once again, I learned something else. New rules, new players at the state level, it's totally different. But I know that I bring a wealth of knowledge and experience that I've had at the local elected level. Don, we're just so proud of you. It has just been a pleasure to know you. Uh, with Dawn, you always know what you're going to get. You're going to get somebody that's warm, caring, and willing to work that extra mile if it's a project that's worth the time and effort. You know, as men, you know, we like to uh, get engaged in certain things. She just keeps a cool head. She stays focused on what she's trying to accomplish. She's always working to bring people together. And to me, she is the epitome of smooth. She's always uh, devoted to children, always trying to do something to help lift children up so we don't have to lock children up. She and I have talked about that many times. And we're, in, we're together. We're in sync in, in terms of our efforts to, to make sure that we're lifting up our children in every way. It's nice to have young people look at me and say, oh, that's Miss Dawn. She's the lady that helped do so and so. Um, that's meaningful because hopefully it lets them know that in their dream, they can say, I can do something too, whatever it is. This is what excellence looks like. Don S. Hester.